Zarnigor Sodikova. Uh, some people also call me Zara for short. Hi, I am Nalia Kuriel. Oh, hi, my name is Kazi Ahmed and I'm a senior. Hi, I am Owen Mortink and I am a senior. I'm Becca, I'm a senior now. I've been at Larchmont since seventh grade, so this is my sixth year here. So my favorite classes I've taken here are art. Uh, I've taken this for four years now. Also, I really like math uh, with Ms. Coney and Mr. Tam. Yeah. I am in the 12th grade, obviously. I've been going to Larchmont now for three years. I play soccer and I run cross country and track. And I am one of the many servants of the president of our school, Tammy Lee. I like playing basketball. I also do track and I'm I recently got introduced to martial arts, so which is which I'm really interested in, and I also really love hanging out with my friends. Um, well, I do a lot of different things at the school. Uh, I'm a part of the track team and theater. They're both things that I love dearly, and I love interacting with their communities. And I also play a lot of video games, and uh, yeah. I'm uh, working, trying to get to uh, do a math. Um, major in college, so I'm hoping to get into some good colleges that way. I like math, but also the game, Magic the Gathering is a game I like to play. I've been working, uh, I started working this uh, second semester, which has been nice to have some more money. I'm still waiting on most of them. Uh, I've gotten some from Cal State and like one private, but I'm waiting mostly for the UCs and the private schools. I have received six so far from Sarah Lawrence, Bard, um, CSU Monterey Bay, Sonoma State, and Emerson College. At the moment I'm planning to attend Emerson, I got into their honors college, so I'm very excited. I've gotten like at least 11 or 12 letters um, or emails. I've gotten accepted to UC Merced, Cal State LA, Cal Poly, Cal State Northridge, Central Michigan, Oregon Tech, and University of Montana. I've applied to more, but there's more. There's some that are coming, and I've got it rejected from like some of them. So yeah. Yes, I did a few early actions to University of Oregon, um, University of San Francisco, and Puget Sound, and uh, a few others, and I got accepted to all of them. So it was really great. I got into the safety of Cal Poly Pomona, which was nice, but I'm really hoping to get into the UCs. Uh, mostly UC Santa Barbara as my uh, goal. There were a lot of funny moments. Um, I guess the one I can think of right now, um, the senior picnic, that was really fun and people just had a lot of fun, you know, relaxing, taking a day off from school and, you know, like we weren't allowed to swim in the ocean, which is ironic, <laughs> but like people were like accidentally tripping in the water because we weren't allowed to swim. That was really funny. When I was applying for FAFSA on, for financial aid for college, I messed it up and I couldn't figure out why and then I had to go back in. I accidentally put my birthday as 1973. Also, while we were applying for FAFSA, I was talking too much during class and Mr. Co yelled at me and while I didn't find that funny, everybody else did. I had a lot of moments, but most of them would be with hanging out with my friends a lot. Whenever I hang out with my friends, it's, it's really fun. And whenever I go to my friend's house, it's, it's even more fun. I gotta say, when one of my uh, dear friends tied me up with duct tape and uh, threw me in a classroom and locked me in there for the remainder of an after school period, it was really funny. I think the funniest moment happened recently um, with uh, Jay Hook uh, theater kissing uh, Jackson on stage. Um, it, was, it was pretty great. Uh, I, that was, um, the moment itself was great, but more um, so what was enjoyable about that experience was later on the repercussions of time or his, his family I was going to that show and um, it was just a, uh, a great experience all around just to watch. My proudest accomplishment, um, you know, just being here today, making it all through 12 years of school, I think is a pretty big feat for everyone here. And yeah, just making this video right now, standing here, um, I think it's one of my biggest accomplishments. 
Uh, I am the first person in my family to go to college, so I'm very oh. proud of getting in. Probably just making the right friends, you know, having the right friends, having the right group to hang out with, yeah. Uh, my proudest accomplishment so far was probably, I used to have really bad stage fright, and I got over that stage fright, and then I started doing musical theater, so I'm really proud of myself because of that. Getting uh, above a 4.0 in uh, high school so far has been, uh, it was a lot, of, a lot of hard work, and it's nice to have that now, um, applying, when I applied to colleges, and now sort of waiting for that to come in, feeling that I've done um, what I can. Um, senioritis, it's a very real thing, but honestly, it's not even that bad, or I thought it wasn't that bad. And, you know, I feel like it's important to find balance between all these like, academics and applying to college and preserving your own mental health. So, you know, right now I'm waiting for, like waiting for college ac acceptances can be really stressing. So I've been emphasizing on like healing after like, you know, all the distressful periods, so I think that's really important, and yeah, make sure to look out for yourself. Sleep less. This might be contrary to what others are telling you, but an A is forever. One night of sleep, that's temporary. <laughs> It'll be worth it when you get into college. Make sure you don't have senioritis, like don't be lazy and stuff. Um, I guess in your first semester, you gotta, you really gotta like, pay attention and do good because it's very important and second semester doesn't really matter but still just be active in school and yeah uh my advice for someone who's going into senior year is that as much as it seems like it doesn't matter the first quarter is the first semester actually is very important just don't procrastinate keep doing your work it'll make it a lot easier when you don't have to compile all your work at the end of the semester just because you've seen your itis. Like it does exist. Once you turn in and get into your colleges, you'll soon feel this like weight lifted off your chest, but just turn in your work. You still have to go to school. And just think about it, like these people, you gotta spend your time with them wisely because you're not, you, you may never see them again. I think um, it's not necessarily one specific thing, but just getting uh, above a 4.0 in uh, high school so far has been, uh, it was a lot, of, a lot of hard work, and it's nice to have that now. Um, applying when I applied to colleges, and now sort of waiting for that to come in, feeling that I've done um, what I can. This is more general advice, but just uh, my biggest vice is procrastinating assignments to the end. And I was always happier when I started assignments and I was given them uh, rather than doing a rush job at the end, because you always do better work and get better grades if you start on your assignments as, uh, as soon as you get them.